Good morning, my name is Georgia and I thought I would do a video all about <laughs> my Oyster 3 pram just because when I was pregnant and I was researching what pram to get I really really loved watching videos like this um, to help me make up my mind. Um, just so you know my baby's just on the floor nearby I won't show you him but that's what those noises are and we also have the cats in the background so if you hear that that any noises might be the cats uh, climbing in and out of things as they like to do. So as you can see, we've got the Oyster 3 in the navy blue colour and I really, really love it. I'll do a bit at the end about why and all the different features and so forth. <coughs> yes, excuse you. Um, we've got it set up here with the carry cot or bassinet, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it the bassinet um, on it because that's what you should use um, initially and my baby's still quite young he's only um, 10 weeks old um, so we got the travel bun um, the travel system which is a bundle which includes lots of bits uh, you get this main frame chassis and then it has uh, the bassinet it came with a car seat I won't show you the car seat because we've got it in the car um, and it came with um, a proper sit-up seat as well that makes it into more of a, um, a traditional stroller or pram, whatever you want to call it. I'm still not 100% sure on all the terminology. Um, so the carry cot I absolutely um, love. It comes in and out really easily. I've never tried to do it with um, just one hand before, but what you do is at the back here, there's a little thing like this, so you lift that up, and then you can just lift the whole and grab it at the other end and then you can just lift the whole thing off um you could have it both ways around we've got it this um this way around so that when you're pushing it along the baby can see you one of the things i really love about the whole thing is how smoothly and easily it turns it's really light you don't need to put on any um pressure really goes up hills super easily and it's just got a really nice um, turning circle and it's really easy to steer. Um, it has this brake at the bottom here. You can see you can put that on and then it's not going anywhere and you can put it off just as easily with your foot. You don't need to do it with your toe. You, um, underneath some of them, you have to kick up like that, which is not very good in the summer if you've got flip flops on. Um, so this one's um, better. So that's one advantage of it. Um, the handle, it's just got this little squeezy button here. You can just pull that up and down. I have it normally about there-ish. Um, these things here are for folding up the chassis, um, which is really easy to do. So you just grab both of them, you pull it up, and then the whole chassis would fold up once you'd taken off the carry cot. Um, it also has the bag, as you can see here. Oh, you are getting a view of my baby. Never mind, babies all look the same, really, don't they? Um, this poppers, this cover kind of poppers on and off and it zips off and on as well. Inside, it's really nicely padded. You've got a little mattress there. Um, all this stuff around the side can zip off and on. Um, this little mattress you can take off and on. Um, the only thing I would say about that mattress, this is one tiny, tiny, tiny thing, is um, you, it, the cover, there isn't a cover on it that zips on and off. And that would be nice because it's not going to be the same for all babies, but my baby is quite refluxy. So we've had a couple of times when we just put him on there without even thinking and he's sicked all over it. Um, so then I've had to take it off and you can just kind of sponge wash it, but it would be nice if it had a cover that you could take off and on that you could wash. Although I have seen you can buy them specifically for this. Now I just tend to put a muslin down when I put him in there. Um, it's got this kind of handle, which makes it really easy for taking off and on. Like I say, this button here, when you press it on both sides, that comes up and down really easily. Um, at the back, this bit here, you can see the little oyster brand, and it's a really nice kind of twill material. You can fold this up. And so in the summer, there's the cat in the video as well, say hello. Uh, you've got like a little bit more um, breathability if you were using this in the summer, but I expect by the time it comes to summer, we won't be needing that because um, the baby will be too big for this part by then. Um, underneath, You've got this uh, nice size basket um, and it even has a little extra kind of pocket there 
that's supposed to be, I think, for the rain cover. So it has a rain cover that comes with it that fits on really, really nicely. We've not used that more than a couple of times. Um, I'm going to just pause the video here so I can take off the bassinet and show you a couple of other things about it.